Every choice we make about the technology we use in our daily lives shapes the world. Think, for example, about electric cars, about the apps on your phone, your computer, the internet, the programs you use for work or school. The makers of these programs build a convincing way of experiencing the world. But make no mistake, they do not serve you. We end up with software that often deprives us of important rights and freedoms. With non-free software, in a sense, we are walking in the dark. We can't understand today's popular software because it's mostly proprietary, which means our active participation is limited by design. Instead, the software ends up controlling us. This is a story about how the world is and how it could be. What happens when we don't look up? What happens when we follow the breadcrumbs of the promise of convenience? Considering the presence of software in your life, shouldn't you be able to look inside programs to see how they worked? Shouldn't you be able to use them however you want it, make whatever changes you want it, and share them freely in your community? To live in a world where we do control our technology, we need software that is free, as in freedom. All software is basically a set of instructions to a computer, which come together like building blocks to make up your program. There is a global community of people that believe that software should serve you, the user. That you should be able to freely access, make changes, and share these building blocks to your liking. And when you can, we call it free software. With free software, you can not only check that software does what it says it does, like protect your privacy, you can also adjust it to make it do something new, something creative. You can solve any issue that you can think of. We protect this freedom by using a concept called copyleft. This makes it so that all modified and extended versions of the program are required to be free as in freedom as well. Software freedom is worth fighting for. As the user, you have the power to demand change. You can make conscious decisions toward freedom, one step at a time. There are free, as in freedom, programs that you can begin to use today, which provide an ethical replacement for the apps on your computer or phone. Over time, you can replace more and more of the parts of your digital life with tools that respect your freedom and help others to do the same by learning about and advocating for software freedom in your home, school, and workplace. Every time you use free software, you are helping to create a freer existence for yourself and for the rest of us too. This just in, shocking new video from a school teacher who wandered into a cave and found out what's really going on with these devices we're all carrying around in our pockets. It turns out they're a form of mind control and the end game is walking unconsciously right into the mouths of monsters. Free software is important, not just when thinking of technology, but it matters for a free society. So from now on, when you are speaking about any kind of freedom, please consider the role that software plays in that cause. The Free Software Foundation has been fighting for software freedom since 1985. The journey won't be over until we've all climbed the ladder to freedom. <laughs>